Okay, I got her. Gerald McIntyre says he's the muscle. His sister, Cheryl Marks, the researcher. Stonetown, two words, and Stoneville. They and others. My roots are here. Are attempting to preserve the story of a freed slave community that once existed at the edge of stamping ground. There we go. This house and a few foundations are all that's left of Stonetown. I would love to go back in time just to see what it was like. An impossible dream, so instead, they are beginning to restore the lone house still standing from Stonetown. Just to preserve our heritage just a little bit. In school, most of the time when you learn about African American history, it was slavery. By preserving this place, you save a piece of the pride that came with freedom. Pride in having a home. You know, you come from slavery and you have a piece of land. You know, you have a home. You can raise your children in a house that you own. Gerald used to see this house as nothing more than an eyesore. He wanted to burn it or tear it down. I want to get rid of it, period. I, I wanted it to go. I'm glad we talked him out of that because he was pretty determined. Here we go. It's stubborn, but it was coming out of there. I said, no, it's something special about the house. A house which became a home to freed slaves. We've pulled records of different deeds. To find out when it was built. And so far, we haven't found that. The educated guess is between 1866 to 1870. It just is amazing to think back to that time. Lawrence Young Jr. is 88. As far as I know, all it did call Stone Town. His uncle lived here. He grew up nearby. I used to live in a house like that back over here. Lawrence was raised in a time when you carried your water and stayed warm by burning wood and coal. That's all he had back in them days. Back in the days when Stonetown had not yet disappeared. This is the original wood here. Now there's one house built with no frame, held together by huge boards, Remaining. Some of them are 18 inches, some of them are 12 inches wide that you can't purchase now. And artifacts handed down from generation to generation, including this picture of a woman in a maid's uniform. We're really believing she's one of the early settlers that lived here and it, one of the homes. And Annie Fishback's history book with a notation from 1907. She put the date. And then here she has Stonetown, Kentucky. Tiny pieces of Stonetown, or Stoneville, saved for future generations. All this is in your backyard. This is history right here. Photographer Paul Mejanier, I'm Greg Stottlemyre on Kentucky's Backroads.